So we're going to, so this is live. These are some victims who escaped from uh, Mr. Alangwa. After some uh, seven people were shot dead, the narrow escape and the they were part of people who survived from the stampede that the army, the Boko Haram army, just laid siege. So some of the survivors, these are some of the survivors, and you can see they were molested and injured. Some of them were flogged brutally before they escaped. Why the others? They saw that other people lying dead before their eyes. They shot some other people. So you, we are going to speak to one of the victims of this um, on justice that is going on near in Umaya. So, yeah. Uh, As we are coming from uh, about to Umaya, to our leaders' compound, so we get to Isa Langwa. Unfortunately, we see some uh, Boko Haram soldiers. They stopped us and. They were shooting us, us, and some of us were wounded. Even we ourselves, we managed to escape. And they soaked us inside water. They asked us to drink the water. And we thank God for not for for protecting us and to save us. We will come back. And other so people are. Still you saw, you saw, they were shot. You saw some people shot before your eyes. Yeah, too, too many people were shot, and seven people is de right, dead yeah, right now. And you said that they, they shot some people at the leg before you guys escaped, right? Yes, yes. So we managed to escape from them. So other people are still there. They are still there killing people. People are still many there. They block roads. You can talk. You guys can talk. You can explain what. If you are there, explain what happened. You can say explain what happened. How do you guys manage to escape? Uh, okay. I'll see. Okay. The grace of God will escape from that place. Okay, I hope the world is watching this. These are some survivors who managed, who managed to escape from the from the brutality that was going on in Sialangwa after seven people were shot dead and more are still being shot by that area. So I want the world to understand this that the Afans are being killed right now in the home, the country home of the leader of the Indigenous people, Dr. Mazin and Nikano. And I want you to, to keep sharing this video until the world gets. You can see how they were molested. You can see his back. They were brutally beaten, almost beaten to death. And they were there, they shot some people before they managed to escape. I, I they managed to escape because I don't understand. But you can see this. So I want you to keep sharing this video and let the United Nations understand what is going on here because they are forcing us to pick up arms. And when we do that, Nigeria will burn to the ground. Thank you.